Okay, so I have three glasses here and they each have different things in it. So this one is pure water. So I just got like a water bottle and just put water in there. So it's just pure water. And the density of this is one gram per milliliter. And so how to measure density is mass over volume. So the stuff that is in the space. So there is one gram over one milliliter in this glass. Um, right here is salt water like from the ocean and it has 1.025 grams over milliliters. Can you see that? Yep, and that's for the salt water. And then the last glass of water I have here is saturated water. So it's super salty. I just added, oh, my salt is in the kitchen still, but I just added a whole bunch of salt in there. And this has um, 1.2 grams per milliliter in it. And you can even see that there's still salt in the bottom because it just wouldn't dissolve just because there was so much. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take these three golf balls. They're all Callaways and they're each 1.015 gram per milliliter. And so we're going to put one ball in each glass and we're going to see if it sinks or floats. And then we're going to talk about why it does. So I'm going to put this ball in the glass of pure water. So I'm going to get you guys to predict because most of you were at the tailgate. So we talked about density a little bit. And we know that this ball is 1.015 grams over milliliter density. And then the water is one gram over one milliliter. Or one gram milliliter, yeah. So, you guys think it's going to sink or float? Sink. 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 Let's see if you're right. Ah, <coughs> uh, y'all are too smart. Okay, <laughs> okay the next one is 1.025, and this one is the salt water. Is it going to sink or float? Float. Float. Sink. <laughs> That's okay. We'll discuss why in a minute. Okay, so, well, actually, we can discuss now why. So, Discuss why now. Okay, so this one is saying, how come? Does anyone know? Because it's denser than the salt of water. Yes, yes, it's denser. The ball is denser than the water. Denser than the water. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So that's why it sank because if it's more dense, it sinks. Just how like the little um, dropper it sank when I squeezed it because it had more water in it and it was more dense. So the golf ball is more dense than the water. Yeah, that's correct. So that's why it sank. And now here, the uh, water is, wow, sorry. <laughs> the water is less dense than the golf ball, which is why it floated. The water is more dense there. Yeah, the water so whatever, is yeah. more dense because the golf ball is 1.015 and this is 1.02 mm -hmm. and that's why it floated because when it's that way it floats. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. So now I'm going to drop this in here. What is it going to do? Float. Oh yeah, it's going to float because this water is way more dense than that one. So, yeah. Um... One thing that we can do, though, is we can try to make it float. So let's see if this will work. I might not have enough room in my glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very tip top. I don't pay attention. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, though. You, like, match so, it. Yeah. As you can mm. see, it's not perfect because there's not enough room left, but the golf ball is about the same amount of density as the water now, and that's why it floats in the middle, because they have the equal amount of density, so since it's not more or less, it doesn't float or sink, it's just it's in the middle. Isn't that cool? Can you see that on the camera? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that one. Good job, everyone.